Annalise doesn't wash her hands after the bathroom. Spread that rumor. Spread the rumor. Spread the rumor. She no, she calls me out, I call her out. Hey, welcome to Mythical Kitchen where dreams become food. Some people ask me, they say, Josh, where did you learn how to cook so good? And I tell them, I tell them the Marvel franchise. I took all the concepts from Marvel. They had one good thing. They had a Tom Holland Spider-Man. Everyone loved the Tom Holland Spider-Man. Then what did they do? They were like, we're gonna add more Spider-Man. We're gonna bring in Andrew Garfield. We're gonna bring in Tobey Maguire. If you take one good thing and you add a bunch of other good things to it, you get an even better thing. Even though Tobey Maguire really didn't seem like he wanted to be there. Did you need the check, Tobey? So what we're doing today, we're taking one good thing, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, we're taking another good thing, the fried chicken sandwich, and we're gonna combine them together and we're kicking Toby McGuire and we're gonna say enjoy retirement. Toby, you've done enough. You were in Seabiscuit for crying out loud. We've broken the recipe down to three simple steps. You can snag the time codes right there. We got a full written recipe down in the description. Let's get cooking. I know what you might be thinking. You couldn't get through a simple cooking video introduction without spoiling a movie that's been out for like five months. Uh, no, and now that my mind is on this one track that cannot be derailed, even if I tried, we're gonna keep going down this. One of the villains was just like a lizard that could jump a little high, are you serious? You had a, like, a scientist that are riding around in a little hoverboard snowing bombs, you got a wizard that can transcend the space-time continuum, and they're fighting a lizard who's like a little strong. Don't get it. Oh, we're making pickles, sorry. I should have explained that. This is a cucumber which turns into pickles with a little bit of finesse, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is called a mandolin. Um, it's also just known as the maimer, because it will maim you. So don't, you gotta be careful and like, look at what you're doing when you're doing it and don't talk about Marvel movies. Here's the thing, Tom Holland's the best Spider-Man. You didn't need to get the other Spider-Man in there. I came for the Tom Holland Spider-Man. I feel like I got baited and switched it. Couldn't get Kirsten back? She's like, oh, I do art films now. I'm married to Jesse Plemons. I'm mandolining out some pickles, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these pickles on a sandwich eventually. And that sandwich will be will be filled with fried chicken and the accoutrements of peanut butter and jelly. And where this idea came from, I wasn't I wasn't done. I should I need more. Wait, I don't think I need more. We're gonna put like three slices on a sandwich. What are we gonna do with the rest of them? Who knows? Find out. Uh, we did a thing for Good Mythical Morning, the show that we also produce on. That was an uncrustables chicken sandwich, and we made that, and we're like, listen, this is Jesus Christ. And we were like, it's pretty good, but this concept can be improved. So then we, we did it on the TikTok, and then we're like, you know what? That was okay, but this can be even better. And so now we're kind of on our third variation of a fried chicken, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh, like Santiago from Old Man in the Sea. We're out there just beating our fists against the wave, trying to get this thing perfect. And that's what's happening right now. And the way it starts is fish sauce pickles. So I'm rubbing some, I'm rubbing some salt into the cucumber. <laughs> Ben, I see you, brother. All right, so we're running some, why do I talk like Joe Dirt now? I see you, brother. All right, so we're rubbing salt into the cucumbers to get them like nice and pliable. This is a thing that I always do uh, with my pickles. It just makes them nice and snappy. There we go, pan's hot. We're gonna add just a little bit of white vinegar. Whoa, damn it. Get it together, dude. We're adding some white vinegar, we're adding some water, we're adding some fish sauce. We're trying to play with the idea of like a Panda Expressy sweet fried chicken that's sweetened with the jelly, cause like orange marmalade you could feasibly use in an orange chicken recipe. And so we're gonna use grape jelly instead. And to me this all sort of makes sense. So we're going to some other like, you know, kind of uh, uh, Southeast Asian flavors going on in here. Uh, we got some ginger and then I'm adding cilantro to a little mason jar. Why did I put the ginger in there? That didn't make any sense. I'm gonna just squeeze some lime juice right in there. We're just gonna wait for this to come up to a boil. We're gonna take all of our pickles. You see they're nice and pliable. They don't break in half. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And then we're gonna pack that in the mason jar as well. And then we're just gonna put our, put our little juice on it and let that sit in the fridge for uh, at least an hour at most, I don't know, like eternity when the sun finally explodes. You know, uh, when one of Elon Musk's little drones goes haywire and decides to crack the nuclear codes, I don't know. Whenever that happens, the pickles are probably done. So we're just gonna pack it. It's too much. No, that's not too much pickles. Well, I got the ginger. I'm gonna just put the ginger on top. The ginger should weigh down the pickles. And then you don't need this to come to a boil. I just wanna cook the pickles. We're trying to dissolve the sugar here and get it a little bit warm. And then, bingo, bingo. 
Yep, I made a mess doing a very simple task. And that doesn't bode well for the rest of this, I gotta tell ya. It's like how Peter Parker really made a mess both physically and emotionally when he was trying to, like, was he, like trying to get into college? What low stakes? No one, no one called him out for that. He was like, I'm trying to get into college. An absolute meaningless distinction because you could just, uh, Tony Stark, uh, don't you have access to any of his resources? Why do you need to go to MIT? Uh, kill your gods of higher education, Peter Parker. And you almost destroyed the world because of it. So we're gonna let these sit and then we're gonna fry up some chicken. I mean, what a revelation Jacob Batalon has been though, you know? Great supporting cat Marissa Tomei. She should have done it in character as Mona Lisa Vito for my cousin Vinny though. That's my, that's my only beef with the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe that they needed my cousin Vinny to also be a part of that. Cause then Ralph Macchio could have uh, crane kicked that lizard. We have just a panoply of flavorful liquids here. And I remember which one is most of them. And so we're gonna try and combine them to create a peanut sauce, uh, kind of inspired by the delicious like Thai peanut sauce you'll get with, uh, uh, what's it called, satay. It's really delicious, which is technically Indonesian. Don't tell David, am I right? He's from Indonesia. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some water to a pot, also known as a pan. And then we're gonna add some peanut butter to that to thin it out, just get it up to temp. We're gonna kind of smooth it out. Man, I'm saving this for the jelly sauce. Hold on. I can like, yeah, here, I'll scrape it. I'll scrape it off. There we go. So we're gonna get that peanut butter softening in there. Yeah, this is what I wanted for that. We're gonna add that to there. Then we're gonna add a little bit of garlic to it. And then we're gonna add a lot of bit of, oh, it's burning. Wait, well, hold on, we're adding some garlic and then grape jelly. Uh, this grape jelly, it's gonna melt. All it is is sugar and gelatin. And so we're also adding uh, some, uh, uh, I'm the crow man, I'll fight Spider-Man. I go, Aah! Not to be confused with Michael Keaton, who is the, vulture. the founder, Ray Kroc, McDonald's, um, which is part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What do we have in here right now? That's me asking myself. It's not like a rhetorical thing. Uh, vinegar, grape jelly, garlic, Thai chili, and gochujang. That's what we need. Gochujang, delicious Korean uh, fermented rice and red pepper paste. Really, really a delight. And then a Thai chili that we're gonna palm heel strike. This is the most dangerous palm heel strike. Don't go pee after you palm heel strike this. Well, do go pee, but you gotta go hands free which I do a lot in the, so now I'll just, I'll pull my pants down to my ankles and I go hands free <laughs> and whoever walks in, they walk in. Palm heel strike that just to express the chin and then kind of, ow. Oh God, that's getting in the eyes. Then we're just gonna let that reduce. Now we got a little bit of Thai sweet chili sauce. That's going right into that. I don't think that heats on. And then a little bit of brown sugar. <laughs> it's not coming out. There it is. A little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of black pepper in that. So the idea is we're gonna create a really delicious, syrupy, liquidy, sugary sauce. We're gonna fry up some chicken thighs. We're gonna get that sauteing in this delicious grape jelly, a la orange chicken with the spice, the vinegar, the little bit of aromaticness from the garlic. Oh, soy sauce needs to go in peanut sauce too. That's right, that's right, that's right. We've added all the liquids into the pans and, and now it's only a question of what verbs to do. I guess you just gotta stir them, but neither of them seem hot yet. Well, we'll wait a sec. I have a lot of other Marvel Universe hot takes. My hot take is that I haven't seen 95 to 100% of the movies. <laughs> and so when I watch one, they'll just be like, blah, 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 the Infinity Stones. And I'm like, what's that? What's, I, don't under, I don't understand. Uh, I thought Thanos was a brand of speakers. I, I, I really don't know. I, I watch them piecemeal. I, I like the coming of age tale of Spider-Man Homecoming. And then the rest is just lost. I think it's just I have too much ADD. And so that like, when they start introducing like more than one hero and one villain, I'm just like, you'll, you'll, you've lost me. I tried to watch Infinity War in theaters, but um, it was after work and it was one of the theaters with the nice reclining chairs. And so I literally fell asleep right during like the opening scene. And then I woke up and like Chris Pratt was like punching a purple guy. And I was like, I'm back out. And then went to sleep again. And so that's all I know about that movie is Chris Pratt punches a purple guy. Spoiler alert. This is looking good. We wanted to thin out the peanut butter. You could just spread peanut butter and jelly on this, but we tried that in our first iteration uh, and it didn't didn't super, super work out great. But here, get a nice one you wanna add. Ooh, that's nice. Hold on, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Thin that out, a little bit of water. Take it off the heat. Now you see it's nice and runny and drippy. That's gonna be a lovely sauce to spread on our buns. We got all the soy in there, the aromatics, the jelly. <laughs> Thai chili, the jelly and the Thai chili, that's all melting down. We're gonna let this firm up a little bit, but let's do a taste of the hot sugar liquid. 
Oh, oh, ooh, 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 that's spicy. It's a little bit more salt. Jesus, this is gonna be a face melter in a really good way. So what do you think of peanut butter and jelly? You think of just being in immense pain. All right, fry some chicken. I'm like Doctor Strange from the Marvel movies. Marvel's a scam. You know what else is a scam? Wagyu beef. And you can listen to Nicole and I talk all about it on our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. The latest episode just dropped recently, as recently as sometime soon to now, and as well as on Spotify. Uh, really, the podcast is uh, it's, it's so much better than this cooking show. It's, oh my God, it's easily the best thing that we do. This cooking show is a piece of crap compared to the podcast, so you should listen to it. So I'm going to season up. Well, this is such a small chicken thigh. I don't want that one. I'm going to season up some chicken thighs, just a little bit of salt, and then we're going to drop that into a mixture. This is rice flour, corn flour, and wheat flour. Like I said, you got your Tobys, you got your Andrews, you got your Toms. You're going to want all of them coming to the party. Um, even though it's gonna be like way more expensive to do it, but it's like budget isn't an issue when you're Marvel and, and on a cooking show. So it's like, I can just get rice flour, whatever I want, you know? But at home, just do normal. Use pancake mix, use Bisquick. I don't know, that'll probably work. So we're just gonna dredge that, leave it in there. I'm gonna dredge a couple more. Just gonna drop a bunch. Let's drop like four bad boys in there. Shoot, I forgot to season it. Now we're good, you can season it in the flour. Yeah, no, it's off the rails already. Okay, and then now I do the swishy thing, because you see chefs do that. And we're just gonna fry up these here chickens. Beautiful, and then now since you've been working with raw chicken, you will wash your hands, Annalise. I've seen Annalise go to the bathroom. Annalise doesn't wash her hands after the bathroom. Spread that rumor, spread the rumor. Spread the rumor, she, no, she calls me out, I call her out. Annalise doesn't go to the bathroom. She doesn't, she sees a bird in the road, she just drives through it. The chicken is done. Uh, we're gonna pull it out. I heard you saying it's not as golden brown as some chicken I've seen, Josh. That's because there's cornstarch in it, and also it's gonna get covered in jelly sauce. We, you haven't seen, you know, chicken do that either. So All right, we're gonna just toss the chickens in the jelly sauce. We're gonna use these nice little tonges to kind of toss this around. Can you see Maggie? Look, it's chicken. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. Make it nice and wet. We're gonna crank the heat on this jelly sauce to get the wet chicken, and then this way, the chicken will be wet. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work out. There we go, it's kinda nice and caramelized now. I'm gonna take this, pop it back on there. Is Mindy coughing from the vinegar vapors? No. You sure? Okay. Sorry, Mindy. Get nice and a little caramelizy. Is that good? It looks so good. It looks good? You like it? It looks so good to me. You like it, I like it. Chris likes it? That was great. I, we should just crowdsource all of the opinions about the food. Or I'm like, Chris, do you think the stew's done? Maggie, do you think that the potatoes are cooked? Here we go. So as your jelly cooks down more, the reason I was watering it previously is that it could, it could caramelize a little too much. There we go. This looks pretty dankity dank, and it's gonna taste dankity dank as well. Okay. All right, so here we got four delicious jelly-coated Thai chili-bashed chickens. And then now here's a bun. It's a pretzel bun. First time I've ever seen a pretzel bun on the show. This is big. No, no, <laughs> screw you guys. So we're gonna take, we got that covered in the jelly. We're gonna take our peanut sauce. We're gonna use that as if it were a mayonnaise. We're gonna spread that on the bun. And then we're gonna take like one jelly chicken, maybe another jelly chicken, like that. Yeah, does that look good? I'm kind of a little loco today, Nicole. And then we're gonna wipe my hands there. I'm gonna take a couple pickles. <laughs> just a little, kind of finger the pickles out. It's a nice thin pickles. I'm gonna kind of drape them, drape our pickles over it. <laughs> and then uh, peanuts are crunchy. We like that, we like crunchy. We're gonna add some peanuts. And then we're gonna take a couple fresh mint leaves. Why? Uh, Nicole. You wanted them. Yeah, I know, but why did I want them? No. I think it'll be good on it. It's your fault. Well, I'm doing it. There we go. Couple mint leaves. What if this is the thing that that, that makes it bad? It's your fault. No, I know. I know. This is what I do. Ask for it. I know. But it, oftentimes I'm wrong about my own needs. And then some more peanut butter sauce on top. Here we go. And then we're just gonna do a little crown of thorns. That's a weird thing to say right now. Anyways. 
Chicken sandwich is done. Here's a peanut butter jelly chicken sandwich. We got our cochujang rice wine vinegar, grape jelly boiled fried chicken on a pretzel bun with a little Thai inspired peanut sauce on there, some fish sauce, pickles, and inexplicable fresh mint. <laughs> Eating time. One last call for chicken sandwiches. Okay, we're gonna smush it down a little bit. There we go. Give it a pat, cheese and fudge. Hey, my son. Simba! Okay, and this is gonna be nuts. Oh. 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 This might be the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. I know we do a lot of silly things. You got the old PBJ. Oh. It all just really works. You don't get a ton of the grape flavor. All you're tasting is the sweetness and a little bit of acid from that. Put a ton of aromatics into it. The pickles, you know what's the kicker? The fresh mint. The fresh mint, the unsung hero of this whole day. The peanut butter, nice little creamy, nick, nick. But don't take my word for it, take Michaela's word for it, because we're gonna go sporker. Michaela, get ready for the sporkening. Michaela, the sporkening. It has begun. Oh my god. Do you wanna eat a peanut butter and jelly chicken sandwich? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, thank God. If you said no, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, here, uh, you take. You take that. Okay. You feel me? I'm gonna pretend to feed you with a spork, except okay. I'm kinda just gonna flittle, flittle flattle this up, and then you should probably just grab it with a hand, unless I can okay. support you in any way. Here, I'll hold the plate. Yeah, hold the plate. I'll hold the plate. So, I can so this is this. a grape jelly and gochujang Ooh. glazed fried chicken, pretzel bun, Ooh. fish sauce, pickles. Do you have any food allergies? Not that I'm aware of. Still. We're about to find out. Okay. I'm really proud of this mm. one. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. You dig wow. it? Can I have more of that? Yeah, this whole sandwich is oh, yours. I'll take it. No, Can I, I just, uh, like walk away. I fed the rest like, of the, don't, you, don't, I mean, if you're, okay. if you're gonna walk away, like continue talking to camera. We got oh, a run yeah. time to fill, Michaela, come on. <laughs> come on, what do we think we're doing here? This is delicious. Kind of serving some Panda Express vibes a little mm -hmm. bit. You mm -hmm. know, with the sweetened coating on the chicken. I love anything sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. And this is, ooh, it's dripping. Yeah, All it's a wet sandwich. sandwich. Sorry, link, so. Yeah, it's sweet and savory, the flavor's just, they're very powerful, but they're incredible. And then this sandwich itself is just like super juicy and like sandwich. You should be a judge on Chopped. Oh, that was my dream. That was my dream. Let's start a new Chopped. Let's do it. You know? Yeah. But for toddlers, they have Chopped kids. We need to do it for two-year-olds. For two-year-olds. Mm -hmm. I think two-year-olds could actually like really come up with They can work a deep fryer. They could. Yeah. I don't think I want to see that though. Well, we'll figure it out. Anyways, Michaela, thank you so much for <laughs> being our you. Sporky and thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram and TikTok at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams come food. Just like Brett and Sammy did, they got a stand mixer and the first thing they made it with that stand mixer was the flaming Hot Cheetos pizza and honestly, it looks better than mine. Uh, so Brett, keep your day job. Don't don't come after mine, please. Like I, I need this, Brett, I need this. You're too hot to handle and so is your bakeware. Get a Mythical Kitchen Oven Mitt available now at mythical.com.